Russian President Vladimir Putin has come out today and called the attack on the Crimean Bridge a terror attack on critical infrastructure, accusing Ukraine of responsibility. This comes on the heels of the recent attacks on Russia's Nord Stream 2 pipeline, which supplies natural gas to Europe, another key piece of critical infrastructure. So the question is, what's next? What will be Putin's response? I mean, he has to respond, right? That's what everybody's waiting for, and that's what everyone is expecting, for crazy Putin to respond. Time will tell. But this situation also sets the stage for another possibility, a false flag. Everyone is expecting Putin to do something right now, just weeks ahead of the midterm elections here in the United States. So it'd be safe to say that if an event does take place, the narrative and expectation of retaliation from Putin is already in place. It practically has a bow on it at this point. So if I were an evil mastermind, which I'm not, I would attack myself and blame Putin. Because that's what everyone's expecting, is for Putin to do something right now. And that would provide even further justification for more escalation, rallying public support for such escalation, throwing a wrench into the midterm elections, and so on. Two birds, one stone, so to speak. Now, I'm only speculating and trying to offer a different perspective other than what the corrupt corporate media tries to feed us, and I'm certainly not taking sides here. In fact, I suspect that Putin is actually maybe one of them. After all, he is a World Economic Forum young global leader. And yes, the WEF publicly distanced itself from Putin due to the war in Ukraine, but every good story needs a villain, right? A boogeyman. Someone to blame everything on and keep us all distracted and divided while the agenda continues to move forward. Problem, reaction, solution. Look, all I'm saying is that if and when something does happen, uh, and I'm praying for peace, I am, do not be so quick to buy the official story, something that I think many of us have learned over the last two and a half years. But instead, ask questions and look at who stands to gain. Thanks for watching.